Okay, so I'm in Manila and we're in lockdown, 30 day lockdown. I believe this is day three of the lockdown. So I figured I'd restart the vlog. Um, if anything, give me something to do since we can't go outside anyway. I mean, work does keep me busy. I'm working remotely. We're all working remotely. And I still have uh, all my personal projects that I'm doing, but still there's a lot of a huge chunk of the day where there's really not much to do. Um, there's only so much Netflix or YouTube videos you could watch. So I figured I'd be productive and uh, maybe do some vlogging. Now these series of vlogs that I'm probably gonna do are gonna be pretty, pretty raw. Um, they're not gonna be edited fancily. Um, I have a, <laughs> I just have so much space to work with. Can't go outside um, because quarantine. So basically I just wanna use this as a way to talk about stuff that interests me or things that I do. Um, like I said, if this is useful to anyone, great, but primarily this is just a way for me to keep myself occupied during this crazy, crazy pandemic that we're having. With that said, this vlog is gonna be how I plan to keep myself in shape. How would I work out? Um, during the lockdown since I believe all the gyms in Manila are closed you can't go outside unless you're getting groceries or medicine or you're on your way to the hospital today we'll be talking about how I plan to keep myself in shape or how do I plan to exercise and that is primarily going to be with resistance bands actually let me let me grab them right now these, my, all of my resistance bands fit in here. There's, I think, there's four, four bands. So the resistance bands I have go from like, you know, the small one, which is fairly easy, all the way to, you know, thicker ones. Why did I buy resistance bands? Um, I noticed that as I'm traveling, sometimes I don't have a way to get to the gym. This is the next best thing. I mean, between all the bands that that I have, I pretty much have a whole dumbbell uh, rack that I could work with. Also, notice the kind of bands that I have. They are the flat ones. Uh, they're not the one that have a handle on it. And that is because with these, you have more versatility uh, of how you get to use these. You can manipulate it way more than the kind, the tube kind that has a plastic handle in the ends. So if you're interested in getting resistance bands, I suggest getting the flat kind, this kind. I think I paid 30, 35 bucks for them. They're fairly cheap for what you could do with them. If you're going to be working with resistance bands, I suggest you get gloves. If you don't use gloves, you're gonna tear up your skin. Um, these these bands are hard uh, on your skin, friction-wise, so make sure you're wearing gloves when you're working out with them. Step on this, step on this like this to provide more resistance, and then make it proceed with the exercise. Another thing that you probably should get when you're gonna be working using resistance bands is what's called a door anchor. It looks like this. Can you see that? Yeah. So this is a door anchor. I think this was about 15 bucks on Amazon. The way that you use this is you basically wedge this uh, over your door. Um, you can have it over your door, under your door, or to the side. So basically door anchor works on your door, <laughs> uh, but you put it like that, 
and you shut your door uh, make sure that it does clear so basically what that affords you is a, a place to anchor your bands like this so you can loop your anchor like that uh, and then you can do your your pull exercises from that and from there you can do lat pull downs like so ideally you want the direction of your pull to be how the door closes um, this time around the door closes this way and I'm pulling opposite that um, I should be I should really be on the other side uh, but this should work this should be fine I ask how do you adjust the resistance um, so that you can make it harder on yourself or easier. One way that you could adjust the resistance and thus difficulty with the bands is um, instead of just pulling on one, you can double it up and make it harder. Another thing you could do is double up on the bands. Uh, so instead of just using one band, two bands with di uh, two different resistance thus making it harder I step on it like this so I step on it like so and then I step on it again like this and then this is kind of like the level of resistance that it has so I could make it harder by taking up more slack right here or I could make it easier by, you know, having less, I'm stepping on less stuff and having more, more slack on this side. So this is easier, this is harder. One tip that I could give, um, and this doesn't just apply to resistance bands workout, but any kind of workout that you're doing, working out shouldn't look pretty. Your face should be making all these contorted, struggling faces um, and that's how you know that you're working your ass off you can't just be like doing your workout and be expressionless like this like you have to be every rep you should be like struggling like you're you know you're putting in the effort I think it's true uh, and it's especially true with the bands is that you shouldn't work only to hit a certain rep count um, let's say like you do eight and then that's it that's your set ideally you'd want to work till failure your first 10 12 reps are probably gonna be just the beginning and then the last two that you do are the only ones that really count towards progression towards um, improving yourself. If you should just always stop at eight and you, you bust through those eight reps easily and then you rest, you're just basically wasting your time. Make sure you're working every rep um, and you stop when you're, you basically can't do any more reps. Do not base your set to a given number like say 8 or 10 uh, unless you're really working your ass off to hit 8 reps if you can only do 5 reps but those are 5 quality work your ass off reps then that's great so yeah that's how I plan to um, keep myself in shape during this uh, crisis I think anything that we could do to improve our immune system um, is worth doing. Hopefully I could edit something out of this uh, that's worthy. So yeah, hopefully you find this information useful. Um, I don't know. I'm just trying to keep myself uh, entertained and occupied during this. I'll sign off here and um, I'll see you guys in the next vlog.